Hello. Hello. My name is Julia. I'm a family nurse practitioner. Um, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I will just be inspecting your chest, your heart, your lungs, and your vasculature today. Okay. So if you have any questions for me, just let me know, but that's pretty much the rundown of how this is going to go. Um, I'll feel for some things and also use my stethoscope to listen to a few different things. Okay. Okay, so just inspecting your chest, like overall, like general appearance is normal. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to start just by palpating, um, feeling for any heaves or lifts in your aortic area, and then your pulmonic, um, herbs point, tricuspid valve, and mitral valve. So I didn't feel any <laughs> heaves or lifts. Um, now I'm just going to listen. Good. Okay, I'm just going to flip my stethoscope now um, to switch to the bell side to listen for any brewies. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Um, so I actually do have to have you lean back and kind of lay supine. Um, if you can lean back in the chair as much as you can. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to palpate that apical, for an apical impulse here. Um, I obviously don't feel anything, but that is where your mitral valve is. Let's see. Um, didn't feel any thrills and listening all right you have a clear s1 and s2 i did not hear any s3s or s4s um and i did not hear any murmurs while listening to you right. um yeah, that's about it as far as the cardiac assessment goes. Do you have any questions for me? Nope. Wonderful. Um, one more thing that I'm going to do as a part of the cardiac assessment. So just to point out, your sternum is here, your sternal, bo sternal borders on either side. This would be the apex of your heart. Um, when I palpated each of the valve areas, I was palpating for any thrills, did not feel any. Um, also, your respiratory status remained stable and didn't change with um, your heart rate, or your heart rate stayed stable and didn't change with any respiratory rates. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have you lean back again if you want to put your feet up um, and go ahead and turn your head <laughs> right for me. Um, just looking for any jugular vein distension and I don't see any. Awesome. Um, go ahead and look this way for me. Yep. Great. Okay, so after listening to all of the lobes of your lungs and um, your back, your anterior chest, and both sides laterally, um, you didn't have any crackles, wheezes, um, rails, bronchi, strider, anything like that. All of your um, lobes sound clear, so that's awesome. Um, so next, I am just going to check for your thoracic expansion. So go ahead and scoot to the edge of the chair for me again. Um, I'm just going to place my hands on your back, um, kind of push your skin together, and then when I ask you to take, take a deep breath in and out, go ahead and do that. All right. So deep breath in and out. Good. So you have appropriate and equal symmetrical chest expansion, so that's awesome. Um, now I am just going to have you, <laughs> I'm going to use like the ulnar surface of my hands, um, the edges, and I'm going to have you say 99 for me. Okay. Okay. Now? Mm-hmm. 99. 99. <laughs> <laughs> 
99. 99. 99. 99. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to percuss um, your back and your anterior chest. So I'll just use my finger and kind of tap on it and see how it sounds. All right. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> um, um, moving forward, so as far as the respiratory assessment goes, everything looked great. Everything um, is symmetrical, normal, breath sounds are great, um, chest expansion was great, no tactile fremitus. Um, so I'm just going to move forward to the vasculature assessment. Um, so first, go ahead and like sit straight on looking at me. Um, I'm just going to start by feeling your carotid. Good. Careful not to <laughs> feel for both at the same time. Um, now I'm just going to feel your radial pulse. Good. And then your brachial. Same on this side. Good. And then just an overall um, inspection of your vasculature. So your body temperature is pretty normal throughout. Let me feel your hands. They're a little bit cooler. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your capillary refill is greater than three seconds, but this room is a little bit cold. Is it normally like this for you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little bit cooler down here, but otherwise, okay. Um... So now I'm going to have you put your feet up again, and I'm going to look at your aorta. Um, so I'm just kind of going to feel in your abdomen, um, looking for, yeah, feeling your lower limb pulse. Um, and then next would be your um, iliac pulses, and then your renal. Um, and then your femoral would be right in the inguinal canal down here. I'm not going to have you take your pants off. So I would palpate on either side. <laughs> um, and then go ahead and bend this leg up for me. I'm gonna feel for your popliteal pulses. Good. And. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, go ahead and take your socks off for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to feel for two pulses on your feet. So the dorsalis pedis, which would be the top of your foot. Good. And then your tibial, which is um, alongside the medial malleolus. Great. I feel both of those. And then looking at your legs as well, um, feeling with the back of my hands for the color or the temperature. Um, toes are a little cool. Color is appropriate. Your toes are a little bit cooler. Your capillary refill is greater than three seconds on your toes as well. But is not too bad considering how cold the room is right now. Um, your vasculature looks normal otherwise and yep any questions for me mm -hmm. feel free to put your socks and your tank top back on but it was nice meeting you nice meeting you have too. a good rest of your day you too for the lung and respiratory component of the assessment i'm just going to start by inspecting um your chest um everything looks symmetrical it's not convex or concave um judging your ap diameter like your ratio. Go ahead and lean forward for me. Yep, that is appropriate. You aren't barrel chested. It's two to one. Um, go ahead and cross your arms in front of your chest. And I'm just gonna inspect from the side. Can you sit up for me? Yep. Okay, and wonderful. Everything looks symmetrical. Um, as far as anatomic landmarks go, your trachea is obviously right here. Um, it's midline. Um, here is your <laughs> supersternal notch um, 
angle of Lewis right in here. Um, looks good. So now I am just going to count your respiratory rate. So go ahead and look off and just breathe as you normally would. <laughs> okay so 30 seconds times two you're roughly at about 16 breaths a minute which is appropriate is um yes you uh, are not labored in your breathing um it doesn't seem like you have a cough or anything going on so that's great um now I'm just going to listen. I'm going to start by listening on your back. So go ahead and scoot to the edge of the chair a little bit. Yep. <laughs> and that's perfect. And whenever I touch the stethoscope onto your back, just take a deep breath in and out for me. Okay. Let me know if you get lightheaded though, and we can take a break. Okay. <laughs> wonderful um your breath sounds sound appropriate um you had